Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. I'm about to show you what I think is the best 3D printable mount for a tablet to go on the DJI RC N1 uh, transmitter controller deal right here. So it is articulating. This will fit a wide variety of tablets. I made an updated version that's adjustable. It's super great. You can go to rcwithadam.com to uh, download the STL file to print it for yourself. Uh, or if you don't have a 3D printer and you still want to get one, you could check out today's sponsor, pcbway.com because they make all kinds of PCBs, which are printed circuit boards, but they also offer rapid prototyping services. They used their services to make a nice shiny new version. So in this video, I'm gonna show you these parts. Oh, that looks nice. And we're going to assemble uh, the brand new one together. Uh, if you do want to order from PCB Way, this is the sponsored part. It's super easy. You can just upload the file uh, to the website, um, and then you can and then you can do different types of files depending on uh, the type of rapid prototyping you want to do. And then uh, you can select like the kind of materials that you want to be made so out good. of, and then other wow. specifications. And then they'll give you an estimate, and then um, they'll get back to you with like the final price, and then you just order it. So it's really uh, really simple. Simple. And uh, this right here is uh, printed in, it's resin printed in UTR 8100. I went with like a uh, dark gray, I believe, uh, color. So it gives it kind of this like smoky uh, type of color. So it's not totally clear, uh, but I think it looks really neat. It's kind of a blue gray. Once you have the parts printed, it's really pretty simple to assemble. You're going to need three M3 uh, sized screws. I'm using these cap head style that use a two millimeter, 2.5 millimeter drive, and then three M3 nuts. And that's it for the hardware. By the way, this part was actually designed by somebody else and I heavily modified it. Credit where credit's due. So link to this original design in the description below this video. We have our DJI RCN1 transmitter, we can pop open the antenna portion, you know, and this is where you'd put your phone normally, but we don't care about that because phones are dumb. We want a tablet. So we're going to get this funny looking portion right here. And you'll see there's a little lip on this one part that's going to clip into this little lip right here. Don't forget this next step, which is to take one of your M3 nuts and insert it into the little hex shape right there. And you can take a little screw and just make sure that it's like pressed in there all the way. Since I just happen to have some of this uh, Starbond glue, basically crazy glue, I'm just gonna put a teeny tiny dab on the side of this nut right here. Just a tiny bit, just to hold it in place because there's quite a bit of clearance. Uh, we want a lot of clearance, clearance. The glue is dried. We can continue. We're going to clip this in place right here. There we go. It's clipped in there really well, but not well enough to support a tablet. So we need this little back piece right here. You can see it has little cutouts. Set it right on there and you'll notice that this hole inside this piece is gonna match up with this hole, which is gonna lead down to that nut. So we're gonna take our screw right here. Really only needs to be, be about 25 millimeters, uh, the length of the thread, but I had a longer screw and then I just put a bunch of nuts stacked up on it uh, to give me kind of like a handhold so I could just finger tighten it. Uh, so I wouldn't have to use tools um, to adjust the tightness because uh, we're going to want to be able to slide our antennas up or down depending on you know wh whether we're using it or storing it um, you don't have to but that's just a good option so we're going to insert this screw down through there we're going to thread it onto that nut which is captured okay cool so now you can just you know pretty much just finger tighten it and it's going to really clamp down on that and you probably won't even be able to move these rods here. Sweet, that's what we want. Now we can get our hinge right here and you'll notice on the hinge we have two more uh, cutouts, hex shaped cutouts for our nuts. And so we're gonna put a nut on the uh, big side right there. Okay, again, you could glue that in place if you want to. Uh, it's not as big of a deal on this one. And then we're going to take the hinge and match it up like this, as you can see. So we have the, the larger part of the hinge is gonna to attach to the mount that's attached to our transmitter. Then we're gonna take our second 
M3 screw and just line up the holes. Harbor Freight coming to the rescue once again. This, this comes with a little extender bit and that really comes in handy in this particular spot because we're bumping it up against the transmitter here. So that's pretty cool. So uh, this shouldn't really need to thread in here, uh, but if your tolerances are pretty tight, uh, you might need to do it for the, for the first time trying to get this in here. There we go. So you can see I have a little bit of extra threading right there. Not a big deal. Uh, you could make it probably a few millimeters shorter if you wanted to. And you can adjust how much friction you want based on how tight you make the screw. If you need more friction, you can take some really uh, rough sandpaper, like 80 grit sandpaper and kind of scuff up the print. Or if you need less friction, probably just maybe put some like some kind of lubricant in there. Now we can install the carrier. That's not even what it's called. Now let's install the tablet plate. Pretty much same situation here. You'll notice we have another spot for our hex nut right there, or just a nut, because most nuts are hexes. Also for this, I like to have the solid part of the uh, plate on the bottom. So the adjustable part's gonna be at the top. All right, we have the nut on this side. So we're gonna put the screw in from the right hand side as I'm looking at it. And you want them tight. You do want them pretty tight, uh, fairly tight for this. All right, so let's back that off a little bit. We'll just drop that M3 nut right in its little home, this new home right there. It's your home. You're too good for your home. Ah! If you're having trouble getting the nut into place, what you can do is just thread the nut on your uh, screw a little bit, and then you can use your screw to just gently guide it into position. So this is a little bit embarrassing, but it looks like my tolerance is maybe just a slight bit too small for this nut that's on our uh, tablet side of the hinge. So what I'm gonna do is just take our handy dandy little torch here and heat it up and uh, kind of smush in this uh, nut right here. So let's give that a try. So we're just gonna touch this spot uh, just to get it a little bit warmed up. We don't wanna actually melt the arm or deform anything, but we do want to try and heat this part up. There we go. There we go. So we're just gonna kind of smush that a little bit. I'm not sure if it is just this print or if it uh, maybe could be updated. If I do a version two, I'll definitely update that. Now, the last piece, this adjustable part right here, and that just slides right in place here. Let's demonstrate this with the iPad. This is really uh, large, about six and a half inches tall or uh, about 100, uh, 170 millimeters. So you can just extend this as you can see here. You'll notice, especially with this really smooth resin print, um, if you just have a tablet in here that has really slick sides, it's probably gonna slide around a bunch. Um, so that's not great. So a couple options that you could do, you could put, uh, well, you could do some kind of fancy thing and print some TPU pads right here, or you could just uh, put some, maybe wrap some rubber bands around the uh, plate here. Or uh, what I like to do, especially with this tablet, because I'm not going to be taking it out, I just put a tiny little bit, well, this is actually quite a bit, but you put a tiny, tiny little bit of 3M uh, double-sided foam tape. You, you might even get away with like scotch tape or something, but just something to give it a little bit of friction and a little bit of grippiness uh, so that it doesn't want to slide out. One really thick rubber band and secure it on here. Okay, just to give it like a little bit of a kind of a springiness to it. This is not my favorite method to be honest with you. And I probably should have made these little nubs a bit bigger and if you have a really strong rubber band, that's better. But it does work, it does hold it, does grip it in place. Um, but what I would probably rather do is just put like a zip tie around these little nubbins here uh, and just zip tie it down. Um, alternately, uh, once you figure out the height of your tablet and you want a more secure method, you could even uh, just mark it on these uh, little prongs and then also and then just figure out where to drill a hole and put maybe a couple M3 screws in there to actually screw it into place and so it clamps down. But there you go. That's uh, that's basically it. I'm not going to use an iPad. iPads are stupid. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't use an iPad. Uh, I use this super duper bright triple tech tablet. Well, there you go, folks. You got yourself a super secure folding articulating uh, tablet mount, holds a variety of tablets, 
that you can uh, put on your DJI RC N1 transmitter. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me here at RC with Adam Industries. Uh, this has been a fantastic time together. Be sure to check out PCBWay.com if you're interested in uh, uh, some rapid prototyping and that sort of thing. Again, you can go to RCWithAdam.com to get this file to print yourself. 3D printing is awesome. Drones are cool. Uh, be, f be, be fun out there and have safe. Keep creating, keep flying, and I will see you again very soon.